I'm not looking, I'm, I can't see, actually see the uh, the participants as we, it's just uh, because the screen is small, I'm not sure how it's organized and where the yeah. name will be, but inshallah, uh, I'm on the way home, so yeah. I think midway through the class, I'm going to switch devices inshallah, in about 10 or 15 minutes, in the inner Taala. So then, uh, yeah. so that'll be like a we have a transition yeah. at that stage. So just for now, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Ala Rasulillah. Okay. Abdul Salam Khamis Ashar. Al-Fatayatu. So this is, as we said before, the plural of Al-Fatayatu. Al-Fatayatu being a, a youth or young girl, rather. Fatayat being group of young girls. So they say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And the teacher, or Zainab rather, says, Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. She asked the question, Man antunna ya akhawatu. And we introduced this new Bamir, Bamir al or Bamir Munfasil, Antunna. He said that we have previously studied, um, we have been introduced to a number of Bamair, the plural of Bamir, which, means, which is the pronoun, he, she, it, they, you, we. We have been introduced to Anta. We have been introduced to an Anna, Anti, and Antum. In this class, uh, the feminine plural is being introduced, which is Antunna. Also in this class, the introduction to Nahnu comes. So, Ihdahunna, which means one of the Fatayat, says Nahnu. Which means we, نحن بنات الشيخ نحن بنات الشيخ عباس So, بنات الشيخ I think everyone can see that this is this combination is مضاف ومضاف إليه But the question is why is عباس why is that مجرور meaning why does it have two clusters why is it taking the kasra at the end of it? And the reason is because, in actual fact, as the sheikh, because they said that we are the daughters of the sheikh, the sheikh's name is in fact Abbas. So it's one and the same. The sheikh is Abbas, Abbas is the sheikh. So in that case, Ash uh, Abbasin. Abbasin will follow suit directly with the previous word Ashaykhi. And this is this concept, uh, we, as we have studied it before, is called Badal. Badal. Zainab says, Ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban. We spoke about the meaning of the last lesson. Uh, you're welcome, and uh, you're like family, and uh, you know, creation of ease between them. Sahlan. Or marhaban and welcoming. And she says, Ummu kunna ustadati, your mother. Kunna. So again, this is the new Bamir being introduced in Adas al Khamis Ashar. And in previous lessons, we learned the, as far as I remember from Adas al Tasir, if I'm not mistaken, the Bamir, which is Mubafun ilayhi. Like for example, Kitabuka, Baytuka, Bayti, Baytuhu, Baytuha, Kitabu, Kitabuhu, Kitabuha, his book, her book, your book, my book, his house, your house. All of those um, examples preceded in previous lessons, and in a dust al. Rabi Asha, the one before this one, if I'm not mistaken, the Damir Kum was introduced. Now, Antum is related to Kum. Antum is the, at the beginning of a sentence, which is Marfu'a. And Kum 
comes in a combination of mudafun mudafun lilayhi, which is majroor. So we say it's majroor, kum, although you cannot see the kasla on it because, as we know, the dhamair, the plural, which is the plural of dhamir, the dhamair are all fixed in the position that they were originally on. So they don't change. They don't change only because it's a kasra or it states because it's mudaf on lehi, then all of a sudden it's going to have a kasra coming at the end of it, rather. Um, it appears in its original form, though it is in a state of being majrul. So, ummu kunna, this is mudafun wa mudafun ilayhi. Ummu kunna ustada ti. And ustada ti, again, this is mudafun wa mudafun ilayhi. Your mother is my teacher. So, uh, you can see now that there's a, a relationship between the Dhamair uh, Al-Munfasila which is the um, those Dhamirs which are standalone Dhamirs like Anta, Ana, Nahnu, Anti those Dhamirs, they're stand standalone Dhamirs and Hua and Hia which, which appear at the beginning of a sentence um, which are in a state of being marfu' a relationship between them and those dhamirs which are muttasil connected to the word that they, are, that they uh, appear with and yet they correlate so anta correlates with ka anti correlates with ki Ana correlates with the Ya. Beiti, for example. And Antum correlates with Kum. And here we have the example Antunna correlating with Kunna. Hope that's clear so far, inshallah. So then she asks. Kaifa haluha. So my question to the brothers now is this Dhamir which is ha Kaifa Halu Ha this Dhamir of Ha who or what does it go back to? Dhamir uh, is a pronoun. Pronoun naturally the purpose of a pronoun is that it that it indicates something which precedes. Above the Rub Ahsant Barakulahik says mother. Uh, so, كَيْفَ حَالُهَا meaning كَيْفَ حَالُ أُمِّي كُنَّا And can someone tell me why I said أُمِّي كُنَّا even though in the passage she said أُمُّ كُنَّا Because it is mudaf and then the question presents itself, where is the mudaf? Ummi being mudaf and so where is the mudaf? The mudaf would be hal ahsent. Halu ummi kunna. And ummi is also mudaf, as is proceeded. And kunna again is mudaf ilayhi. Then one of the fatayat says, Hiya bi khayrin walhamdulillahi. So here we have Hiya correlating with ha. Hiya is the mir munfasil, it's a standalone the mir which appears towards the beginning of a sentence. And ha is a connected the mir, the mir muttasil, which appears alongside another word and affiliate and connected to it as for example in the case of mudafun ilayhi she says here bi khayrin walhamdulillahi Zainab says 
أين هي الآن؟ أين هي الآن؟ And الآن this means now and this is a word which is fixed on fixed meaning um, it's pronounced with a fatha always. أين هي؟ الآن and this is um, the alif and the lam. In Al-Ana, this starts with the Hamzat al-Wasl. Therefore, as it appears in the middle of a sentence, you're not going to say here and then say Al-Ana separately. Rather, you're going to say Hiyal. You jump over the Alif and land directly onto the Lam and say Hiyal-Ana. Aina Hiyal-Ana. One of the um, daughters, Ihdahunna, Okay, I think uh, the teacher has dropped off because uh, he's, he's probably on the way. Uh, hopefully, you know, he, he will be going uh, soon uh, via the, <coughs> because he went outside basically and he was here in the class once he was outside. And so now he'll probably uh, go to the home and then log in into a PC and then inshallah do the class, inshallah. Okay, uh, uh, while that happens, I'm just going to give the mic to brother. Uh, who's, who's ready to take the mic? Do you mind just you know, saying yes? Whoever is ready to take the mic? Oh, audio is not clear. Okay. Is it low? Is it high? Is it muffled up? Ah, there is echo. Okay. Is it is it better is it better now is it better now? Ah, okay, okay, now it's better. Okay, excellent. That's that's good. So what I've done is I've just reduced the you know the volume of my uh, you know microphone. I think in my microphone is very sensitive, so I've just reduced the volume. I think it's better. Okay, alhamdulillah. Okay, who is who uh, who is ready to take the mic? Uh, someone can, if they if they can say yes. Uh, Hayatullah uh, Maimoon, good to have you, Akh, mashallah. Anyone ready to take the mic? I just, you know, just want to do some practice with the, uh, you know, with our students. Okay, Mustafa, mashallah. I'm just going to give the mic to Mustafa. Yeah, no problem, Abu Maimoon, that's fine. You can, you know, take your time. Till then, let's see if Brother Mustafa could. Uh, Okay, I think Mustafa, uh, Mustafa, I'm not sure, there is some issue with Mustafa's mic, uh, because I'm getting a message saying Mustafa is using a PDA, and um, Yes, Abu Maimoon, we are on lesson 15, which is page uh, 85, as uh, Brother Abdullah just said. Okay. Okay, so Mustafa is back now, so I'm, go I'm going to try to give the mic to him again. Yes, that's right, Abu Maimoon. It is lesson 15 and page 85. <clears throat> and it is on the screen, actually. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping you brothers are able to see the screen.
Yeah, okay. So, Sajid, Abu Abdul Rab, Abu Awal, anyone ready to take the mic? Okay, so Sajid is saying he's ready. I'm going to try and give it to him. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you are well. Uh, from where should I start the read? Which line? Okay. So I will I will read the first line and then you can read the second one. Yeah. So Al Fatayatu Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Zainabu wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Man antunna. Ya akhwatu. Ehda hunna. Ehda hunna. One of them. Nahnu banatu Sheikh Abbasin. A Sheikh Abbasin. We are children or daughters of Sheikh Abbas. Zainabu. So ahlan wa sahlan marhaban. Ummu kunna ustazati. Kaifa haluha. Okay, mashallah. That's good. And Ehda Hunna. Okay, our, our, our teacher is teacher is back now. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, excellent. So, Sajid, I'm just going to turn off your mic for the time being because you know Ustad has come, and then obviously, uh, when Ustad asks for the for the students to speak, you can you can raise your hand. Okay. Okay. So. No, so here we are, Mashallah. Yeah, so Nadim, what I tried to do over there was, you know, I was just trying to, you know, pictureize this conversation because so, you know, just so. Here, Anna, Shuriyabi. Jayit, the the voice normal. My brothers, can you hear me, inshallah? Yeah. One of them yes. says, "Here, Anna, Shuriyabi." So, Zainab asks. Matter when? Matter when? The question is what? When what? She says matter dahabat. Dahabat the sukun. We have studied this formation before. We have studied dahaba. That means huwa. Huwa dahaba. We have studied uh, dahabat. Which means here, here the habat. If I'm not mistaken, it proceeded before this. If not, it's coming here now. When did she go, Sahih? When did she go? So then, the answer is the habat. She went. Abla usbu'in and. The word Qabla and Ba'da, when it appears after a verb, it will take a Fatha. Qabla means before and Ba'da means after. If it appears after a verb, this will take a Fatha. And it will be Mudafun. 
Therefore, what comes after it is mudafur ilayhi. Hence, you have two kasras in the word usbu'in. And usbu' means work, means week. Usbu' means week, as in seven days. Naam Mustafa, ismi majroorun. This word is majroor, and it is an ism. Okay, you're asking, will it be mudaf only after appearing after an adjective? Now here's qabl. There's no adjective that came before it, and it's mudaf. So the answer to that question will be no. Unless there's something else that you have another example you have in your mind that you're thinking of. This word qabla and ba'da, it can appear sometimes on its own. And in that case, it will finish with, with a dhamma. And that will come in Al-Kitab al-Thani, inshallah, in the second book, uh, when it comes as a as mabni. As far as I remember, it's in Al-Kitab al-Thani. Okay. Dahabat. When did she go? She went a week ago. Zainab says, Man dahaba ma'aha. Man dahaba ma'aha. Ma'a means with. And this ma'a, it uh, behaves like mudaf, or it behaves like harful jar, in that what comes after it, will be majroor will be majroor similar to what Mustafa just mentioned that this word is ism and it's majroor and it means who went with her sahih who went with her so one of them says dahaba ma'aha akhuna dahaba ma'aha Akhuna. So this word here, Akhuna, we have had it before. This is Mudafun wa Mudafun ilayhi. Naam. Mudafun Mudafun ilayhi. And what we said before is that the words, the words, Akhun, the word Akhun, as well as Abun. When they are mudaf, in order to show that they are mudaf, a wow will appear after them. This wow only appears at the time of being mudaf. So here you find the wow. It has appeared. Because this word is mudaf and na, this is mudaf only they he. Akhu na, dahaba ma'aha, akhu na Ibrahim. Shma Ramza, Shma Ramza. Abu Nakhi Mustafa, sure. You're talking about Naam, I can, I, can, I can see that you're trying to say Al Asma, Al Khamsa. Naam, there are five words that behave in this same manner. They don't ordinarily have uh, a wow at the end of them, but that wow will appear at the time of becoming Mudas. Jayid. Khamsa meaning five. So, Akhi Sajid, this word here, Akhun, 
usually you see the word like, like this, as you can see here, with just at the kha. And this word abun, you see, just with alif and ba. But if it is mudaf, as in the case we have over here, mudaf on the being the noon alif, the damir. Nah. Why is mudaf? This wow will appear. Okay? You don't say akhuna and abuna. No, you say akhuna. Abuna. Okay, that wow will appear. My brothers, I apologize. It is time for Salat al Isha in Jeddah. And therefore, I have to uh, excuse myself and close the lesson. And inshallah ta'ala, we continue with the ta'ala next time. And uh, I hope we can get our timings organized, inshallah. So that we are able to uh, you know, have longer, longer sessions, longer sessions, inshallah. I mean, uh, Maghrib and Isha is getting earlier over here now, so if we could possibly bring uh, the class earlier than 7:30, uh, possibly bring it to 7:15, inshallah. Um, I'm sure Brother Muslim will be able to communicate that at the time. Maybe if we shall have a next time, Allah Alam Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah Alam Nabi Muhammad Alaihi Wasallam, Sahabi Wasallam, Salaam Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.